Alexander Titov joins me now live. Good to have you on the program. Realistically, what can this platform taking place in Ukraine actually achieve? Well, I think, uh, you know, in the bottom of their hearts, everybody knows Crimea is going to be in Russia for, you know, foreseeable future, uh, as long as Russia is, uh, remains an independent state. So the platform is just, um, I don't know, a nice uh, opportunity for to bring attention to uh, Ukraine's um, uh, uh, leadership, uh, that they're doing something about um, uh, the disputed territories. Uh, Donbass is more tricky one because there's a, um, you know, there's kind of trade off. Whereas in Crimea, it sort of offers a very nice opportunity to bring international attention without actually need, needing to do anything about it. So um, uh, it's, it's, it's a good opportunity for Ukraine to show off its, um, itself to the world and gain, gain support, moral support. For itself. So what is the situation like now in Crimea, seven years after this annexation? Uh, well, I mean, Crimea has been uh, fully integrated into the Russian uh, state now. They built a new bridge. There is a uh, uh, massive investment going on. Uh, and at the same time, uh, they, you know, obviously kind of irritating the economy, but um, Equally, I uh, mean, you know, there are obviously outstanding uh, issues with um, supply of water, electricity. There is a issue of Crimean Tatars is, is still there, although it hasn't really been uh, particularly prominent recently anymore. Uh, so yeah, I, th I think so far as Russia is concerned, and pleasure in there, uh, you know, that that's kind of a uh, page has been turned on 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 uh, on uh, Ukrainian period, so to say. Um, so internally, there's absolutely there's nothing uh, which would prompt the change of status now. All right, we'll leave it there. Alexander Titov joining us from Belfast. Thank you.